Did you guys know it was easy to make a chicken chow mein? I'm getting ready to show you. Let's get it. All right, so look, I'm go going to go ahead and get right into these ingredients, right? You guys can see there's a few ingredients right here. This is probably something that you guys might not have, and this is like fresh ginger. You're going to need that. And by the way, don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website, smokinganddrillingwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? So I'm going to be using, look, look, real chow mein noodles. You know what? I'm going to give you guys a little hack. You can use regular spaghetti, not the angel hair, but the regular spaghetti, you know, noodles, that'll substitute just fine, right? So the first thing I'm getting ready to do is we want to cut this chicken down and we want to get it into a, uh, you know, start our little marinade, right? So got my board out. I'm going to go ahead and just start cutting these. Now look, don't make the mistake that I always do. Look, this is what I want to show you. See this right here? You want to cut these kind of small, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to have all those big chunks inside of there. I mean, you can, that's up to you really. You know what I mean? But I'm going to go ahead and do them small. I like them like this because I want to get them in like every bite, not just a big giant piece. Right? So put this over here just like that. Now I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to show you what we do next. All right. So now I got my chicken, you know, cut down. Right? So I want you guys to look. You see the sizes? Don't forget, once you hit that hot, you know, hot pan, it's going to like kind of like draw back a little bit, get a little bit smaller. You know what I mean? This one might be a little bit bigger, but the main objective, objective is to kind of like get them all the same size so that way they be done at the same time, right? So I'm gonna take these and put this inside of this bowl. Okay, so look, now what I do is, this is what helps me and makes it so cool to like cook, right? So it's not stress-free. You guys notice that I always use these little bowls. They like candy dishes. Uh, I use them for everything, you know what I mean? But so what I do is I make all, I get all my measurements and I get everything out. And then actually I line them out as the, you know, in order that I need them, right? So first thing we're gonna do is make this little marinade. So I want you guys to pay attention. I'm gonna take my soy sauce, right? And then I'm gonna come with my cornstarch. And this is where we're gonna let it sit. We wanna at least let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes, right? So this should be the first thing that you do. I got gloves on, then I get in here and I just work this around. You wanna get everything nice and coated. All right, cornstarch, soy sauce, look at how it looks. All right, again, we wanna go about 15, 20, 20 minutes would be preferred, you know what I mean? I guess extra five minutes, but 15 minutes, right? So, got this done, I'm gonna put this off. Now we're getting ready to make the sauce. Now, if you guys take a look, just practicing what I preach, Listen, I will get all of my ingredients that I'm gonna need next, and this is gonna be for my chow mein sauce, right? So I got everything already measured out and it's sitting right here in front of me. Now, I wanna show you guys this real quick. Look, we got soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame seed oil, and this right here is hosen sauce, right? I suggest you guys get that. Listen, I got a lot of recipes that I use these. These are gonna be your base. You know, when we start doing these, uh, you know, Asian type recipes, you know what I mean? Super easy to get, they readily available just about everywhere. You know what I mean? So once you have them, we make these, you know what I mean? You don't have to say, well, dang, I gotta go out and get them. So I got everything here and check this out. We're gonna be using fresh ginger, right? So you wanna get yourself a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and grate this right now. You can use, you know, dry bent ginger, but you know what? I'm thinking the best way to go is fresh, folks. All right, so now that we got the fresh ginger in here, right? The rest of our ingredients, we're gonna put them all in here. No particular order. I just wanna make sure that I get it all inside. Then you guys are gonna wanna have yourself a whisk, right? So let me get it all in. And this right here is gonna be the sauce, right? This is what's gonna make it fire, folks. All right, once you get all your ingredients in, you just wanna go ahead and give it a mix, right? Obviously I'm using this whisk. You know what I mean? We just wanna get this. And this is gonna be that sauce, folks. This is what's gonna give us that flavor that we all have come to, you know, love from having chow mein. All right, once you're done whisking, you, what you wanna do is you wanna just set this off to the side. I'm gonna leave this right there. And I think what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and cook our noodles. All right, so we're gonna cook these per the instructions on the package, right? So let me, you know, you guys use whatever you use, but make sure you read your package. You want to make these, because after I get these going, we finna start, and then once we start, everything will be come together and it'll be nice and fast. All right, so now that I got my pot boiling, now listen, my instructions say have your water boiling first, then put them inside, and then you just want to cook them for three minutes, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab it. You see how it is, and I'm gonna let it cook down on its own, right? Not doing no break like we do spaghetti or nothing like that. Still got it on high, let it come back up. Now, meanwhile, 
I want to show you guys. Look, I already got my bean sprouts done. Onions was already done. You know what I mean? And then we got our carrots. While that's working, let's get this down here. While this is going, I got a mental timer going on in my head. Remember, we just going three minutes. After that, we're going to hit that colander and we're going to make sure that this, we're going to make sure that we stop that cooking process, right? But I just want to show you this part right here. Look, I already started cutting some of these carrots down here. Now, after cutting that flat spot, it keeps it from rolling, right? So now I'll just go ahead and cut it down like this. Let me just show you this part right here. And then we put this over here on the top like that. And then you guys can cut these down however you want to. This is how we get to matchsticks. And then we just cut them however we want to see, you know, have them in the inside. I don't like a lot of whole lot of carrots. I don't like a whole lot of carrots. You know what I mean? So this right here is fine enough for me, but I just wanted to show you guys. Now, we right at three minutes. I'm gonna go ahead, turn my water on. I got a colander here. Turn the fire off. I'm coming over there and let's stop this process. Okay, so now we stopped the cooking process. I'll just leave that over there in the sink. I got my wok. Now listen, just because I'm using a wok, I mean, that's more like traditional, right? But you can make this like in the, you know, uh, in the skillet, right? So got me a wooden spoon. Let's look at my heat. That's high. We want to be like a medium high heat because we wanted to go ahead and, and cook, right? That's just the way it's normally done. Now we're going to bring our marinated chicken back into the game. Medium high heat, right? Now we're going to come with our olive oil. Now this is infused olive oil. You know what I mean? This is a uh, branch and vines, uh, garlic infused. Since we cooking with garlic, it kind of like just makes sense, don't it? All right, so let me just move this around a little bit. Now, like I said, we bringing the chicken back into play. It's been marinating long enough. You know, longer the better, All right? So once this get hot, we put that in there and then we gonna cook it, All right? Now, I always tell you guys, and I practice what I preach, which I didn't do in the very beginning. I don't know how I did not do it. You always want to keep yourself some hot, soapy water, right? So when I'm done, I like to wash my dishes as I go. Now I got a dishwasher right here. Sometime I, you know, I load this up. It depends on how big it is or whatever and the timing of my cooking, right? But when this bowl is, look, since we put the marinade, it's got that cornstarch. See that right there? I'm going to rinse it. Now I'm going to hit it in this water. And while the chicken is cooking and I'm moving that around, I'm going to finish doing that. And this can be ready to be put up. Pro tips. I can tell that my olive oil is uh, ready to go because it's got that little shimmer on there. Right, I got these big lights in here. So I'm gonna go take this, and now we just add it. Okay, so I'm moving this around because we want to get all of the chicken to cook on all the sides, right? All sides. So we want to have it completely cooked. You guys can see it's got that raw look to it. Then you can see where it's starting to cook. And if you guys have a food thermometer, you can like check a few to make sure the chicken is done at 165, right? So. But don't worry, this right here is going to be juicy. You'll see. So I'm going to turn my fire off. I checked one of the bigger pieces. We was at 162, but I know that we're going to cook this a little bit more. You know what I mean? So this will finish, and I'm still talking, right? So I'm going to take these, take this out, and just set this aside. Remember, just that same bowl that I went ahead and cut it, right? Fire's off. Now, I just turned my fire back on. I'm at a medium flame. My wok is nice and hot, right? So what I want to do is I want to just hit it just a little bit with a little bit of that olive oil, right? Now we're going to come with these onions. Now remember, if anything uh, stuck, don't worry about it because the acidity in these onions is going to help pick everything up, right? Get everything off the bottom and we all know what that is. That's the fine. So I'm going to start with my onions and my carrots first. And I already washed my, you know, my cabbage. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut this off down, cut that one off. And then these pieces right here that you can see that look like they dirty, you know what I mean? We just peel them off too. So we get those like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this down just like you see. Now what you're gonna need is just a couple of, you're just gonna need a couple of cups. I mean a couple of cups, right? You don't need no whole lot. That right there is good. Come back over here to your walk. Let's start moving this around. Let's start picking up some of that fine. Right, you can add yourself just a little bit more. As you cook, you can just add whatever you need as far as oil goes to it. You don't need a whole lot. We're not trying to deep fry it. We're just trying to keep the bottom of it nice and moist and to get that fire on. And what we really want to do is soften up them carrots and some of these onions. So now come here and check this out. You can see that these carrots are getting nice and soft, right? You can see as I'm pushing them, they start to curl and you know, look, this is it right here. This is what I like. And look, I can give you guys a little heads up. It's, if you don't want to keep adding oil to it, which is okay, 
You can see how all my fine got picked up, but check this out, watch this. I'm gonna walk this over here to my stove, I mean to my sink. Just give it a little bit of water, right? Come on back over this way, and then we work. You know what I mean? And uh, this right here moistens everything up, and guess what it does? It evaporates out, leaving all of my flavor and everything picked up, right? So, now that I'm looking at my cabbage, I'm gonna give myself one more cut. You know what I mean? We'll just do it like that. Get this going. Now, I like what I'm getting. I don't wanna make them like super soft. Now we gonna add our cabbage, right? Man, this is so easy to make, folks. Now, it might be a lot of talking that I'm doing because I'm explaining and it, kill, it cuts into my time just to get this video. But these are the kind of things you make like super, super, super fast, right? So, remember, medium high back down on the bottom on your heat. Right, now we're gonna come with our stir, I mean our uh, bean sprouts. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't do and that's eat bean sprouts. Listen, you don't have to have it. You can leave that part out, you know what I mean? I, when I was younger, I didn't like it, but now I see it just like the bean sprouts. Right, so now we wanna sweat this down, get that cabbage to get a little bit small, sweaty, release some of its liquid, you know, which is cabbage ain't nothing but 80% water. Right, so now you guys are understanding how it's all coming together. Right, so we just keep this going. And then you usually wanna use the word stir fry, because if you look at what I'm doing, I keep this moving. Remember, the heat is right here concentrated in the middle. Anytime something gets too hot or something like that, I push things off to the side. Just letting you guys know, man, there's so much you can do. You know what I mean? It just I'm trying to get everybody to start making some of these dishes. We don't always have to go out to, you know, have takeout. All right, so after about two or three minutes, I want you guys to look at it. You can see they sweating down just nicely. You don't want to make them like, uh, like fried cabbage, you know? So we get them in there like that, and then we bring, reintroduce, you know, our chicken. You guys can see how it's coming back together right now. And then check this out, folks. Anything that left behind, we not leaving no flavor. All right, so now we got it steaming real nice. It heated, reheats up the chicken. And guess what, folks? It's chow mein time. Now I'm gonna turn my fire off, all right? And you put them noodles in there, it kind of like, you know, like cools it off. Anyway, you hear how quick it quit sizzling, you know, and frying down there. So now we just do it like this. We just want to get it mixed up. It's nice and hot, right? Now, I had this paper towel that was underneath the colander because obviously we rinsed it just to keep my kitchen clean, right? So now I'm going to go ahead and bring my sauce. We add this to it. Look at this right here, folks. Now you know how to make chicken chow mein. Okay, folks, look, super easy to make, right? Again, when I'm making a video, you know, I gotta show like the steps and try to keep it as detailed as I can and to make it as easy as possible, right? But when you're making this and you're moving around and you got all your ingredients out, like, you know, like you got them already measured like they're supposed to be, I promise you this goes together really, really quick. Now, so that I don't over talk it, check this out, folks. We finna go in here and get us some of this. Let me get me some of this. Oh, and I did say earlier, I think I did, that you guys can use spaghetti noodle too. But you see this right here? I didn't get no carrot, no onion. You know what, let's put some of this on here because I love the taste of that green onion, right? Cheers, fam. This is just right. Hey. <laughs> oh, you, hey, truly, these kind of things, you know what I mean? Uh, like when I taste them, I'm like trying to figure out how do I convey to you guys that this right here is fire. When you make stuff like this all the time, you know what I mean? These are like my go-to, like when commercial come on, halftime, something like that. You know, I look at my ingredients that I keep, you know, in my cupboard and all of the, you know, in my pantry and I say, ah, let me just go ahead and make this real quick. 
These right here is just like fire. And it's super easy on the pocket too. So I think I'm gonna put this in budget friendly meals. You know what I mean? Only thing that's gonna really be expensive is would be the chicken, right? And I use or that organic chicken. I could have used just a regular, you know, one pound chicken breast and just chopped it down and did that. So listen, you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like to see, you know, more recipes like this. And guess what folks, we finna come up into the fall and that's my favorite time of the year now. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. I just made myself a fresh batch of iced tea. I'm about to sit down and watch some TV and eat this chicken chow mein. I'm out. Peace.